Your SID is at 40 inches. Be sure to shield your patient. Make sure clothing is away from area of interest. This demonstrates your 3 to 5 degree cephalid angle of the tube. This demonstrates lining your tube up with the bucky. For the AP view, direct your central ray half an inch distal to the apex of the patella. Make sure epicondyles are parallel to cassette. Sometimes patient thigh and butt thickness will determine the angle of the tube. For the internal oblique, rotate entire leg internally 45 degrees. Be sure to take angle off of your tube. Direct central ray to midpoint of knee at a level half an inch distal to apex of patella. With collimation, be sure to include part of the femur and tib fib. For the external oblique, rotate entire leg externally 45 degrees. Direct your central ray to midpoint of knee at a level half an inch distal to the apex of the patella. With collimation, be sure to include part of the femur and tib fib. For the lateral view, flex knee 20 to 30 degrees, unaffected leg placed behind to prevent over rotation, central ray 5 to 7 degrees cephalid, centered to 1 inch distal to medial epicondyle. Sometimes a cross table lateral is used as an alternative exam due to patient condition. Be sure to adjust tube and cassette accordingly and elevate patient's knee.